Hello guys, it's Boy Nobody from us with them. And in today's video, I actually have some very cool, sad, and interesting news. As you can see by the title of this video, I have sold my Talon Oceano. You may also notice that in the title, it doesn't say I sold my Oceano. It says I sold my Oceanus. What the hell does that mean, Anomaly? Well, this last month, I've been trading a lot. You can probably tell by looking at my inventory. I sold both of my Oceanus to the YouTuber Biba, but I'll get into that later. Here is the Talon Oceano, which uh, many of you guys probably already know. I made a video close to a year ago where I explain when I bought this knife, I show the knife and I tell everyone what I bought it for, which was $8,300. Now, if you look at Biba's inventory, there's the Talon Oceano, but there's also a stiletto case hardened next to it, which... Uh, also has a name tag. If we click on it, it's also named Oceano. Hmm, that's kinda, kinda weird. So let's inspect this bad boy and uh, see, oh my god. This is actually by far one of the coolest knives I've ever had. This is the play side. It is literally 100% blue. Ah, uh, normally the, the button on the stiletto, it isn't blue. <laughs> You're a fucking scammer. Okay, the button isn't blue, but 100% of the blade is blue. And this, this doesn't even matter that it's golden, because it's a nice contrast. And if you want to see the back side... Oh my god! If you look at the uh, top list of the best stiletto case hardened blue gems, which are sorted by a script by having most blue, this is the most blue pattern. 182. If we look at the stiletto that I sold to Biba, it is 182. I sold both of these blue gems to Biba a few days ago, I think maybe four days ago now. And now, you're all wondering, Anomaly. What did you sell these for? Well, as you probably already know, I bought the Talon Oceano for $8,300. But this one for $8,300 almost a year ago was a pretty good price. But sadly, this one didn't really appreciate as much as I had hoped, as the number one pattern uh, Talon Blue Gem actually sold for, I think, $18,000. The price I got for this one was still definitely decent. Now, I sold both of these knives together as a pack for $14,000 thousand dollars. Now how much of this 14k is the talon and how much is the stiletto? Well I would probably say that the stiletto was something like 3,000 and the talon was something like 11,000. Maybe the talon was 10.5, maybe the stiletto was 3.5. Well I can't really say since I sold both as a uh, bundle deal but that's still a good price and I'm happy with it. The stiletto blue gem I bought for two thousand five hundred dollars and I guess I sold it for something like three thousand dollars which is definitely a good price that's pretty good profit because i didn't own this one for a very long time the talon oceano however i owned for a very long time and if i sold it for eleven thousand dollars and i bought it for eight thousand three hundred i profited two thousand seven hundred dollars from this talon blue gem this actually <laughs> i'm actually kind of relieved now afterwards because this is the most money i've ever spent on a knife and i'm not gonna lie i was kind of scared when people started unboxing Talon blue gems all the time, I was just like, oh my god, my Talon is gonna lose so much value. But alas, it did not. Now you might be wondering, Anomaly, why the fuck did you buy a Stiletto blue gem P1, like the best possible pattern, for $2,500 randomly? You didn't make a video, you didn't even mention it in a video until you sold it. Well, as I said, that's because I've started trading a lot recently. I've started trading for profit and for cool skins that I've never had before. This all started because Martin offered this exact Karambit Fade to me around a month and a half ago and said that I could buy this one for 5,000 Swedish, and then I realized that, hey, that's a pretty good price, I'll buy it, and then I can resell it, and I can make some profit. And, uh, <laughs> that's how it started. So I started buying a bunch of skins and trading skins that I already had, and now, a month and a half later, I've ended up with this insane inventory, and it's been really fun. I was actually planning on making a video like, uh, I trade for a month and how much do I profit, but I, I don't think that would be as fun, so I started making another video instead. I have started the 100 euro trade challenge, where I'll be starting with 100 euro cash and trading my way 
all the way up to a op dragon lore. I decided to do 100 euro instead of like from nothing to knife because that's basically impossible to do now with a 7 day trade hold and I don't mean to do this as a tutorial like hey this is how you trade up from 100 euro to a dragon lore. This is more as a fun challenge for me and it's meant to be inspiration for you guys to start trading because trading is actually really fun. Also now that I'm trading so much insane items I thought that I wanted to show some of them off because I don't really do inventory showcase videos anymore but I thought what the hell I can show some off in this video you know it's very nice. So first off I have two M4 howls and these are not any type of howls this one has a golden Taz sticker it's also good float 0.08 and I have another M4 howl minimal wear this one's even better 0.07 Ooh, very nice. I've got this M4 which I uh, got I actually didn't overpay for these stickers these are dream hack I think 2014 I buy power stickers non holo which is nice I have a Statrak M9 marble and here's a big piece this is the most expensive item that I think I have in my inventory right now no that's a lie actually I checked it this is one of the most expensive items that I have in my inventory right now and also is one of the most expensive items in my inventory that I bought this is a Statrak Talon Ruby. Here you can actually see the uh, Talon Ruby. It's an insane knife, and especially because it's Statrak. I think this might be one of the first Statrak gems, like Sapphire or Ruby, that I've ever had. <laughs> and it's it's really cool. I also have a Statrak Ursus Slaughter, and this one, this was actually a donation from Arctic, so thank you very much. The playside has a little bit of blue and looks pretty nice, but the backside is basically completely blue. I have no idea what this would be worth, like a backside blue gem, but since it's a donation, I'm definitely going to be keeping it for a while. Next up is a Bayonet Vanilla, Bayonet Doppler Phase 2. This one is actually pretty good looking. Phase 2 always looks really nice. Next up is a Bayonet Sapphire, which looks amazing. And look here, the spine is so clean. Barely any scratches. And look at the float, 0.006. That's fucking crazy. I managed to trade to a Bayonet fade as well. The fade is kind of shit on this one, but it's still a nice knife. I have a phase 2 gamma doppler. So you already saw the phase 2 doppler. This is the phase 2 gamma doppler, which uh, is basically the same pattern, just green instead. I think the backside on this one probably looks better. I also have a Bayonet marble fade and another Bayonet marble fade. This is almost like a tri-color. It's not though, but it looks nice. I have some Bloodhound bronzed gloves. I have two butterfly diamond Damascus steel minimal wear. These are pretty nice and they're not super expensive. Butterflies recently have gone up insanely in value, but these ones are still pretty affordable. Speaking of things that are not affordable, we have a butterfly ruby and a butterfly sapphire. These are actually the most expensive items that I have in my inventory right now and they look really good. Here is the butterfly ruby. Of course, I use this one for T side. And here is the Butterfly Sapphire. Of course, I use this one for CT side. I have a Butterfly Rust Coat. It looks like someone just took the, the Sapphire and put it in their shit there. <laughs> I have a Classic Stained. This one I actually got today. I traded this one and a Howl for some, uh, some gloves and other knives that I had. Next up, I have Minimal Wear. Driver King Snake. These are some gloves that I've wanted for so long. It's one of my favorite pairs of gloves. Like, they're so clean. Like, if you look at them now, you can see how clean they are, and they fit really well with rubies and sapphire as like a color, neutral white color. And also with this talon, like the handle fits very well with the color of the gloves. Oh god damn! And here are some low tier stuff that I have, like a Falcon Damascus Battle Scarred, Falcon Rust Coat, Flip Knife Forest DD Pat. I traded this one today actually. Hand wraps leather field tested. These are actually surprisingly cheap. I think these look really good, but these are only worth like I don't know, I'd sell these ones for 120 euro, so they're not super expensive. Next up, we have a Huntsman Doppler Phase 3, a Huntsman Doppler Ruby, a Huntsman Tiger Tooth, some Hydra Gloves Emerald. These are also kind of undervalued. I would expect these to be much more expensive than they are. And I have two Kyambit Autotronic Factory New. These are actually extremely expensive Factory New Autotronics, but I think they look so good. Like, look at that red part, how it glows 
over that Gerif like sign on the knife. Oh my god. Next up is a Karambit Crimson Web, but this one is actually very good float, 0.15. So even though it's field tested, it almost looks like a bad minimal wear. I've got a Karambit Doppler Phase 1. People new to trading be like, have fake black pearl, want 300 keys. <laughs> Next up is a Karambit Gamma Doppler, which I think looks insane when paired with the overdrive gloves. Unfortunately, that was one of the items that I traded for the Howl, so I don't have that combo anymore. But I tweeted a picture of it, and you can see here, it looks amazing. Another Gamma Doppler, which uh, also looks kind of cool. A Karambit Tiger Tooth with a pretty good corner. An M9 Bayonet Black Laminate. Two Bayonet Dopplers, one in Phase 2 and one in Phase 4. Two M9 Bayonet Marble Fades, one with a blue tip and one with a much more expensive red tip on both sides actually, which is very good. Look at how much red is on that tip on play side. That's a very nice. I've got Moto Gloves Cool Mint field tested. I actually sold one pair of these to my friend the other day. Moto Gloves Pow. I really like these gloves. Two pairs of Moto Gloves Spear Mint field tested, both with kind of trash float, but Spear Mints overall are some of my favorite gloves. Definitely like top five of my favorite gloves ever. Navaha Vanilla. This is an insanely cheap vanilla knife. This one I have up for sale for only 53 euro. That's very cheap for a knife which looks pretty good it's just people don't like the navaha i've got a navaha damascus field tested which is actually even cheaper than the last knife this one i have up for sale for only 47 euro and next is a navaha that actually looks good the navaha sapphire uh, i think it doesn't really fit with a handle but overall it's a cool knife i think i've got specialist crimson kimono well worn these gloves are well worn but they look really nice because the right glove has so much red on it. The left glove, you can see, is how most of these gloves look. It's just gray and some red, but the right glove is very red, so it looks very nice. Next up is probably the coolest gloves I've ever had, not because they're specialist gloves or not because they're Mughal, but because they are factory new. Gloves, just like the Fire Serpent, are all capped at 0 0.06 float, which means it's very hard to get gloves in factory new and they look really flawless like there's no scratches on them at all except i guess for that e because that one's fucking destroyed <laughs> if you match these mughal fn gloves with something like a bayonet sapphire it fits really really well. Next up, I've got Sport Gloves Amphibious. When I started this trading challenge, I actually had the Amphibious gloves that me and my dad unboxed on the second channel video, the Drunk Case Unboxing. If you haven't seen that one, you should go watch it. Link in the description. But those gloves were actually 0 0.15 float, and I really liked them, and they were Sport Gloves Amphibious. And would you look at that? I managed to trade up to a pair of minimal wear ones, and these also, just like the Moogle gloves, fit really well with blue skins. Like the Sapphire, these gloves, and a M4 Brightwater fit together really, really well. Like, look, I can barely see where the gun begins and where the gloves end. I also have Sport Gloves Pandora Minimal Wear. These are insanely expensive because they're Pandoras and Minimal Wear. Next up, I have two pairs of Sport Gloves Superconductor, field tested and Minimal Wear. These fit very well with a case hardened skin. Unfortunately, like I said, I traded away both my blue gems. That's what this video is about. But don't worry, guys. Anomaly always has an ace up his asshole. So here I am with the gloves that I just showed you, minimal wear, with the knife that was donated, which looks really insane on the backside. But uh, I actually have another case hardened item to fit with these gloves. And of course, it's an AK case hardened. This is not the same pattern I traded up to back in the day. This is the reverse scar pattern. So the second best possible pattern. It looks amazing. <laughs> this is actually one of the few items in my inventory that I'm not trading. Next up, I have a pair of sport gloves, vice, battle scarred, a stiletto knife fade. I'm not sure what fade percentage it is, but it looks really nice. Two talon knife slaughters, once field tested and once factory 
very new. They look both pretty nice. I love slaughter knives. A talon tiger tooth. That was a lot of teas. Talon tiger tooth. I sound German. Scheiße tiger tooth. Oh my god, it's kind of late. I probably shouldn't be screaming. <laughs> I have a Ursus fade and an Ursus marble fade. I have a dragon lore field tested with a good float 0 0.19. It looks pretty decent for being field tested. And I have two op the prince, one minimal wear and one factory new. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to trade for a Gungnir yet. I hope I will before the operation ends because I've never had one and they look amazing. And finally, I have two crown foil stickers. One of these is actually the one I unboxed like a long while ago for a video. I just haven't traded it yet. I have an AK Redline with four old Kato 2014 stickers, which looks really good. And also another one, Statrack with three, but these are Hellraisers. And finally, this one, which has four of these old Hellraisers stickers. And oh yeah, I almost forgot this one, which is very cool crown foil. And this one, another one with four Kato stickers. And finally, this one, which you've already seen, I've used it in-game, but uh, these old stickers and a Glock. Very nice. But yeah, that was my little inventory showcase. This video, like, the, the direction of it, it kind of derailed. I was supposed to have a video where I show you guys my case hardens and talk about me selling them. But I've had so much fun with trading the last month that I just want to show some of the items which I've managed to trade for and some of the items that I'm trading, like the old inventory showcases I used to do. But yeah, so basically, I managed to sell my Talon Knife Oceano Blue Gem and my Stiletto Blue Gem for some pretty good profit. I bought both of these as a pack for $10,800 and I managed to sell both of them as a pack for $14,000. That's like $3,200 profit, which is really good. But thank you for watching boys, this was a Skin Warren Buffett and I'll be back talking to you guys when I manage to trade up from 100 euro to a dragon lore. Very nice.